Today here in our applicative lab, we're going to be compounding a staple of the Bath and Body Domain, a stick deodorant. We'll be employing two 3V Sigma Emulsiderm Polyglyceride Fatty Acid Esters, PEFA for short, and applications that are not well known for. We'll use them as hydrotrope, sensorial aid, and release agent for propelling our gel stick inside its canister. We'll be using renewable materials and formulating a hot fill gel stick with four effective deodorizing agents, none of them mineral drug agents. Stand by because it's going to get hot around here. Let's make this thing. Here we have two glycols forming our solvent base. 45% of our formula is a bio-based butylene glycol from Genomatica called Brontide, a nifty renewable here. 15% is standard dipropylene glycol, which gives the product a firmer structure and a nice sensorial when finished. We're keeping it greener this way. Now our temperature is at 85 Celsius and we're mixing at high speed, so we'll add sodium stearate to this. You want to disperse as much as possible the stearate salt into the polyols. So we'll let this mix 30 minutes to an hour before adding the water. We're not using just any sodium stearate either. We're using the right one for the job, OP200V from Hallstar. This metal stearate is the most efficient gelant for this type of formulation. Plus it too is derived from renewables. We gave the polyol blend enough time to associate with sodium stearate, so now we'll add water to this. Water forms a eutectic mixture that hydrates the sodium stearate, creating the gel structure within. These formulas rely on a ratio of polyols to water of at least two to one to create that structure. Back in the pre-carb VOC limit days, we used ethyl alcohol instead of the polyols, and it worked great, but was very flammable. Handling alcohol vapors at 80 degrees Celsius, you needed to have the right equipment so you didn't burn down the factory. We now have the stick base, but we have much more to add here to suit our deodorant application. Let's add these in an order first. First disodium EDTA, then perichlorometazolinol to quench that stench from underarm bacteria. Then we'll add FDNC green number three, and EGDS just to make it pretty. The glycol straight will lend opalescence to an otherwise bland, translucent stick. Green three will appear as teal, evoking our green theme. Pretty, right? Here we'll use a new tool to act as a hydrotrope, one of our 3V Sigma Emulsiderm PEFA. Hydrotropes assist other materials such as sodium stearate to be more water soluble. Most are surfactants, but most surfactants will not work as hydrotropes, but may use hydrotropes to work better. If that sounds a bit confusing, I understand because sometimes I succeed in confusing myself. So we'll add our Emulsiderm PG6L, the PEFA Polyglycerol 6 Lorate, both for its hydrotrope action with the other ingredients and its nice sensorial contribution. Being esters, these PEFA do that better than most non-addicts. We'll also add 1.2% of our Emulsiderm PGEO. That's the PEFA olive oil polyglycerol 6 esters. Not so much a hydrotrope as the PG6L, but a nicer sensorial component. Plus, Emulsiderm PGEO will act as a release agent for the final stick product. This is essential for sticks so they propel repel inside their canisters easily. We used to add Pacocomy DEA for this, but our Emulsiderm PGEO works just fine, contains no diethylamine, and is clean and green. Both of our Emulsiderm PFA are readily miscible with these glycols, so all the better to convey the final two, three, four ingredients of our deodorizing quad. Triethyl citrate and ethyl hexoglycerin each have unique properties for personal care applications, but share the quality of deodorizing or neutralizing foul aromas. These are fragrance fixatives too, and when holding a stick batch at 65 Celsius for eight hours during the filling process, we need all the fixation we can get. Deodorizing agent number four is a nice strong fragrance having a nice boiling point, low vapor pressure, good thermal stability. We selected an herbal one from Orchidea for this. We now know how this item works. Make the underarm smell nice while letting the PCMX travel citrate and ethyl hexoglycerin do their biochemical work. Looks like we've cooled this to just under 70 degrees Celsius. The liquid to solid thermocline for this type of gel stick form was very abrupt, maybe three degrees Celsius. 
You need to maintain accurate temperature control on the packaging line while filling or you'll have a hot mess, literally. Allow a comfortable fill temperature threshold to avoid trouble. As you can see, the final product is a nice gel solid that easily applies onto the underarm skin without cracking or breaking. I like to think our emulsion and PFA have something to do with that plasticizing effect too. Polyglycerol esters of fatty acids are unique compounds that add many more tricks to the toolbox other than only emulsifying oils. Avail yourself of these renewable green products and find out.